Kamusta mga kabafets? I'm MWF Senior Analyst Tarek El Tayesh, bringing you a special video presentation, the inaugural episode of MWF Reaction, where we bring you the latest ins and outs and all the happenings all around the Manilaverse. You may find this video all across our social media platforms on demand. At MWF3 Republica, Robin Sane managed to earn a hard-fought victory over the King of Pro Wrestling China champion, a former WWE and NXT competitor, and a pioneer of the Southeast Asian wrestling scene, Ho Ho Lun. But that was not the craziest story to come out of our third major event. A frustrated and defeated Ho Ho Lun not only continued to decimate Robin Sane, he also attacked MWF officials, including Commissioner Mike Shannon. After that, he did the unthinkable. He almost desecrated the Philippine national flag. But that, ladies and gentlemen, still was not the craziest thing to happen. The whole MWF roster came out to stop Ho Ho Lun. But after Ho Ho Lun managed to escape, and after the dust had settled, a chaotic brawl ensued. It was started by none other than Mr. Lucha's former protege, Kyle Caesar. But even that, Kapafets, was not the craziest thing to happen that night. Roll the clip. Was the Sagada driver or the DVDX heard all around the Southeast Asian pro wrestling scene? And it has completely changed the face and the landscape of Manila Wrestling Federation. Cliche as it may sound, the question begs to be asked Why, Lucha? Why? Mr. Lucha, I'm sure you've heard the people, the fans, even members of the MWF locker room say that you've betrayed your best friend, Robin Sane. I did not betray Robin Sane. Hindi ako traitor. You're talking about betrayal? Naalala mo yung MWF open house level up? Tinanong mo ba si Robin Sane when he betrayed my trust? When he threw me out of the ring nang nakatalikod to win that history maker medal? What I did was use Robin saying as a painful message. It was a very painful message, not only to him, but most importantly to me. Sabi nga ni Ryu, all I have to do is to follow my heart, to embrace who I really am. Ito na yun. I am embracing who I am. Tarek, I am an ambitious and passionate person, but I will not let anybody hold me down or hold me back. 2014 pa lang, Tarek, ang una tayong magkakailala. When I was one of the first few people who built the wrestling scene here in the Philippines. Yun yung motivation ko eh. I wanted to be at the top of the mountain. I wanted to be the best. Alam mo yung kwento, di ba? Nandun ka nun. May mga na-insecure sa presence namin. We were disrespected. We were maligned. There were some people who wanted to erase us from history. Never to be acknowledged ever again. But I led the fight to take our pride. I was the leader. I was MWF. I tried to represent every one of us what we were all feeling. Ginawa ko ng lahat para maging good leader. To always do the right thing. Lahat ng nasa MWF roster ngayon, ako yung nag-unite sa kanila. Tinurin ko sila mga kapatid, 
mga kapamilya. Now, I take it for granted. I'm treated like, like, like an old mascot. Kail siso. Saan ka pupulutin kung wala? Sabi mo wala kang bahay, wala kang makain, wala kang mapuntahan. Binigyan kita ng bahay, pinakain kita, tinuruan pa kita paano lumaban. Tapos babastusin mo ako ng ganto, tuwagin mo akong hayop, baboy. At ikaw, Ashiro, naalala mo yung naglalakad ka lang sa buwan kung walang kamalay-malay sa mundo. Alam yung ginawa ko? Iligtas kita. Pero ngayon, sa mga lahat ng ginagawa mo, hindi na kita kilala. Pagod na ako, Tarek. Dati, the whole locker room treated me with respect. May disiplina sa locker room. Ngayon, wala nang nakikinig sa akin. I am tired representing people who don't want to be represented by me. So, huh, ako nalang isipin ko. Total, yun ang ginagawa nila. They all just think about themselves. Sorry, Robinson. That night, you were a symbol. A symbol to all the baggage, the frustrations, and all the disappointment. Everything I wanted to leave behind. As you know, Mr. Lucha, your friend and mentor, the Eurasian Dragon, has issued a challenge Yes. To Yes. Dragon, if that's what you want, I will fight you this coming road to fame. I will fight you and I will defeat you. You can go back to Singapore, you can go back to SPW, you can tell all your friends that the fat mask guy from the Philippines who used to carry your bags defeated you. Ito yung, ito yung nakakapikon, Tarek, eh. We let foreigners come into our country and we let them treat us na mas parang tas mababa tayo sa kanila. And then we let them judge us kung ano yung tama at ano yung mali. Dragon, I always knew that I would be better than you. I'll be better than everybody else. And I will prove that I grow to faith. You better bring your A game. One last question, Mr. Lucha. Tarek, uh, ayoko na. Pagod na ako. I have said all that I have wanted to say. So, thank you. And there you have it, mga kapafeds. Straight from Mr. Lucha himself. So join us at MWF4 Road to Fate, September 8th at the UP Bahay ng Alumni, where you will see the main event, Mr. Lucha versus the Eurasian Dragon. Emanating from WIPPH co-working and event space, this is MWF Reaction, and I am MWF Senior Analyst Tarek Altayash, signing off.